Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Queenie for those who don't know me and love Allen. USA is on its way, literally in less than a week, y'all. In less than a week. And listen, I know there's a lot of new people who came from Love Island, the original. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, but I can't lie. The OG USA family, y'all got a special place in my heart. So today I'm going to do a cast first impressions video and then give you everything you need to know about this year's cast season all of it so as most of y'all know love island usa season four is going to be premiering july 19th that's next week tuesday don't know why they chose a tuesday and not a monday but that's fine on peacock so it's no longer on paramount plus and cbs it'll be on peacock now if you ask me how that works for people abroad i have no idea it's probably gonna have to be a vpn situation which as most of y'all know y'all can hit the link below get your vpn a discounted price code queen e so you can be a part of the conversation but for those in canada you'll be able to watch it on crave if i'm not mistaken and then obviously the people in the states can watch it on peacock so the villa this year is going to be in california last season they were in hawaii season prior i think they were in las vegas They'll be on the California coast this year, and we are having a new host. So Modern Family's Sarah Hyland will make her debut as a series host, while comedian Ian Sterling will lend his voice as the narrator. I love that they're still bringing Ian. I don't know. like I like his vibe on the original, so I, I'd like to keep him throughout the franchise. You know what I mean? So on to the actual cast itself. We're going to start with the boys, and the first is Timmy... Pendolfi, y'all, if I butcher these names, have grace. I'm trying my best. I love words, wordplay, all that. So, hey, baby, I noticed you noticing me. And I just want to give you a notice that I noticed you too. He is a personal trainer and real estate agent from New York. New York, New York, but is currently living in Los Angeles, California. The number one trait he looks for in a woman is kindness like his mother. It's cute. It's cute on the surface, but are you a mama's boy? I don't know. That's that's to be determined. He can also play the guitar and says his favorite food to eat is shrimp. Okay. Timmy's green flag is if she's driven, she has clean f and has clean fingernails. Okay. Hmm. I mean, successful, definitely. Has a great um, uh, portfolio going on for sure. Some of the attributes, I don't know. I don't know. Time will tell. Time will tell. All right. Then we have Isaiah Campbell. Also, if you guys are looking for ages and hometowns, that's on the community wall. Okay. We have a wide, uh, wide age range. So just go on the community wall. You'll see it over there. First impression would be, you know, I'm good looking. So they're like, you're a douchebag right away. But you know, my heart's sweet, so they call me a sweetheart for sure. It's a waiter from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, but is currently living in Delray, Florida. He wants a family-oriented girl, alpha female. Hmm. And wants a relationship <laughs> like that of the Kardashians, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott. Okay. He also has a secret passion for cleaning. Baby, it's giving submissive, which ain't bad, but okay. All right, we love a modern man, I guess. <laughs> Next, we have Jesse Bray. I was raised by two women. I am the most caring person in the world, so I don't think you'll ever meet another guy that's like me. When I go in the villa, I'm gonna break a couple necks, catch a couple eyes, and I feel like I'm gonna find the love of my life. He is a courier from Springfield, Ohio, but is currently living in Houston, Texas. I knew there was something about Jesse. I knew there, of course it's the physique and the face and you know, we're, we're kind of side eyeing the tattoos cause it's giving F boy, but we move. It's the Houston, Texas, mm-hmm, yes. He brags about drinking three to four gallons of milk a week. Ooh, his ce celebrity crush is Bel Air's Karuchi Tran. All right, she's beautiful. Jesse also would have, oh, well hold on now. If we're reading into it, which, Obviously, that's what we came here to do. Karuchi Tran don't look like the girls who've been cast. The girls who've been casted don't look like Karuchi Tran. Keep an eye out for that. Anyways, um, Jesse also would have liked to meet the philosopher Socrates and boast of being able to put both his legs behind his head. 
I'm sure there's a story behind that. Okay, Felipe Gomez, the oldest person we have ever had. I think he's 31 or 32. Somebody in their 30s? Okay, Lil Valen, I see you, okay? Let's hope Felipe doesn't give us predator behavior, but let's see. I'm a model from Brazil. I did work with many hot girls, you know, but on the set, you have to be professional way. I'm excited to go to the villa and meet girls and maybe I'm gonna fall in love, you know? We never know. He's a model from Sao Paulo, Brazil, but is currently living in Dubai. Wait a minute now. He spent the last seven years traveling around the world and has lived in more than 10 countries. Felipe is confident that he, he's a great lover and claims to have been with over 200 women. Mm. Mm. Was it not Trey who also had been with like a large amount of women? We all know how that ended. He also loves living life in a Speedo. That's fine to go on Love Island. That's a perfect environment for you. Next, we have Andy Voyen. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I am super confident coming into Love Island that I'm going to find my person, but I normally am the heartbreaker and I don't want to break any more hearts. Who is a realtor both from and currently residing in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We've got a lot of real estate agents here. He loves fishing, tubing, and skiing. His celebrity crush is Suicide Squad's Margaret Robbie. He's currently only looking for confident, independent, and trustworthy women. And while he's usually drawn to blondes, he suspects he'll end up with a brunette. Now, if you're new to this channel, you might not know how we feel about people who have hair color preferences. I'll leave it there. Moving on to the ladies. We have Deborah Chubb, who's been dubbed. Oh my gosh, all, I see so many puns coming out of her name. Um, she's been dubbed like Liberty's lookalike. I personally don't see it, but I could, I could see how you could see it. You know what I mean? I've been single for so long that if I don't find love here, I'm becoming a nun. My perfect man is tall, tan, muscular. I'm kind of in the mullets right now. <laughs> but anyways, she's a personal assistant from Dallas, Texas, another Texan, but is currently living in Redondo Beach, okay, California. In a twist, she usually is attracted to a person with more red flags, but is open to changing that in the future. He says, she says, sorry, Justin Bieber once flirted with her on an elevator. Girl, why would you bring that up? Why would you? Oh, I stopped reading people's red, uh, green foot. It's okay. It's really not that deep. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's, it's giving fame hungry just a little bit, just because I'm like, hmm, why would you mention Justin Bieber flirting with you in an elevator? I don't know. Deborah also admits to being single for five years, but is ready to get back into the dating game. All right. Next we have Zeta Morrison. And must I say, we know Love Island is notorious for not doing the best with these um, photos, right? When I saw her VT, sorry, let me not call it a VT because this is the American version. When I saw her um, promo video, I was like, man. I've dated so many different kinds of men. I've literally dated a famous person. That was great. And then it wasn't. <laughs> She's a babysitter and model author from Surrey, England. And I know some people got on me by saying I spelled Surrey wrong. It's the article. Okay, the article wrote it wrong, please. But she currently lives in Los Angeles, California. Although she usually goes for someone's personality, she wants to match with a person she is sexually attracted to. Her celebrity crush is Thor, the love thunders Idris Elba. Okay. You're also not gonna get that though because there's nobody on the cast that looks remotely like Idris Elba, but that's okay. Zeta admits to talking out loud to herself and is currently working on an autobiography. Next we have Courtney Borner. I'm gonna go with that. People tell me all the time that I'm too much and I'm like, that's not my problem. You can't handle all these women in this body. That's your problem. This is me, this is what you get. She's a stylist from Winter Park, Florida, but is currently living in Los Angeles, California. Her pet peeve is bad breath. Girl, same. She has a few celebrity crushes, which include Keanu Reeves, Michael B. Jordan, Will Smith, and James Franco. Okay. 
if you heard what I heard, then we see each other. All right. Courtney admittedly has had 19, 19 plastic, isn't Courtney in her early 20s? No judgment. I just think 19 is, is a lot. Uh, loves a great personality and has dated both men and women. Okay, this is not something that's new on Love Island. We've had somebody who had swung both ways as well. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Next we have Sydney Pate. I hope I said that right. My best friends would describe me as super nice, spontaneous, funniest. Can you cuss on Love Island? Oh, perfect. She's an operations manager from Houston, to oh, come on, Houston, Texas, showing up. But it's currently living in Los Angeles, California, of course. Her celebrity crush is Too Hot to Handle's Harry Jowsey. Is it just on looks? Because if it's, if it's for who he is entirely, we're in for a doozy. Interestingly enough, Paris Hilton is her biggest idol. Yep. Definitely in for a ride. Lastly, she thinks her biggest assets are her smile and chest and aspires to be a trophy. <laughs> the jokes write themselves. She aspires to be a trophy wife. But hey, <laughs> whatever floats your boat, Sydney, I can't even hate on you. I hope you find what you're looking for on Love Island. <laughs> oh, Felipe, wait a minute. I mean, if she's looking for a, spe a specific lifestyle, Felipe might be the one to, you know what I mean? Uh, last but not least, we have Serenity Spriggs. I'm all about being open about talking about sex. A lot of people say that I'm intimidating, which I am not intimidating. I am like the sweetest person ever until, just kidding. <laughs> who's a bartender from Clovis, California, but is currently living in New Orleans, mm, Louisiana. She's obsessed with nice teeth and has even stated Steve Harvey, come bite me. Mm. Her celebrity crush is Grey's Anatomy's Alex, Alex Landy. Serenity is also a professed crier and is a cowgirl at heart. Did I read that right? A crier? A professed cry? I'm, I'm seeing drama. Who professes themselves to be a crier? I mean, I get, hold on, because me, I love watching romantic movies because they make me emotional, so let me not judge. So that is the cast of season four. Uh, the verdict is out. The verdict is out. I'm seeing some people who I know are gonna come in with the drama. Okay, I'm seeing some people who might just be kind of a bump on the log and that's no offense. That's just, you know, everybody has a character to assume. Sometimes supporting character is the character that they assume and that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to work out the semantics on how the streaming actually works. Like, will it come on at midnight? Probably, um, California time, I don't know. Will it be, come out like eight o'clock typically that the show does? I have no idea. The more information I get, I will share with you guys. That is all that I have for you guys this time around, however. So please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week for the premiere.